Assalamu alaikum. Today I will explain briefly the anatomy of the digestive system. The digestive system is organ system that process food and the main functions of the system are first ingestion it means they make the uh, selective intake of food while digestion means the mechanical and chemical breakdown of food absorption means the uptake of the nutrient molecules into the epithelial cell while defecation means the elimination of undigested residue and generally the digestive system divided into two anatomical division the digestive tract and the accessory organs the digestive tract is a tube extending from the mouth to the anus measuring about 9 meter equal to 30 feet in length it include mouth pharynx esophagus stomach and the small and large intestine while the accessory organs include teeth tongue salivary glands liver gallbladder and pancreas the histological layer of the digestive system most of it composed of tissue layers from the inner to the outer surface we start with the mucosa and this layer lining the lumen and consists of inner epithelium loose connective tissue and this layer called lamina propria and thin layer of a smooth muscle this is a red color this is we call it muscularis mucus the epithelia of this layer is simple columnar except in oral cavity and esophagus and the lower anal canal the epithelia is non cretinized stratified sequamous type the second layer is the mucosa this is a thick layer of loose conductive tissue containing blood vessel lymphatic vessel as well as nerve plexus and over it here we found the muscularis externa and this layer consists usually of two layers of a smooth muscle the inner layer encircle the tract while those in the outer run longitudinally this is to maintain contraction this is to maintain contraction this is the outer layer we call it the serosa and this layer composed of a thin layer of alveolar tissue and topped by a simple sequamous mesothelia now we will return back to the principal organs of the digestive system the first principal organ is the mouth and also non oral or buccal cavity and have many functions like ingestion which means food intake taste mastication chemical digestion degradation speech and respiration and the mouth includes by cheek this promoter's side and lip and the palate here the hard and soft palate and the tongue in the base this is maintain the roof of the mouth and the oral cavity 
is lined with non cryptinized certified sequence epithelia, as I said before. The second principal part of the digestive system is the pharynx. This is the valve color. This is a funnel tube. Funnel like tube. And is divided into three regions. This is the upper one, which face the nasal cavity. We call it nasopharynx. And this is which face the oral cavity. We call it oropharynx. While the part behind the tongue, the base of the tongue, and the larynx, we call it laryngeopharynx. Now, the esophagus here we see that the esophagus is also straight muscular tube. This is straight muscular tube. Extended from the cricord cartilage of the larynx and penetrate the diaphragm and it meets the stomach. Here, histologically, the muscle of the esophagus at the first third are most of them muscular, while in the second third are mixed, smooth, and skeletal. But the final third contain only smooth muscle. Now we reach the stomach. This is the stomach of a human. And you see here that is look like J in shape and located in the uh, left abdominal cavity, the upper quadrant left upper quadrant and we can define it as muscular sac and have four region the first one we call it cardiac region here as i said before where the esophagus meet the stomach this the dumb shape this is the dumb shape we call it the fundus and it is site of food store. Okay. Act as a storage. And then this is the part we call it the body. The body of the stomach where most of the chemical and mechanical digestion act in this region. And here we have the fourth region, which is the pyloric region. This is funnel also a funnel region see this is like a funnel and include antrum and the narrow pyloric canal this term t digests food to the first part of the intestine we call it the duodenum the mucosa of the stomach is simple columnar glandular epithelia. The mucosa and submucosa are flat and smooth when the stomach is full, but when it empty, it appear as longitudinal wrinkled. We call it gastric rugi. Make folds when it empty and the muscular layer have a three type of muscles different direction as we say most of the digestive system have circular and longitudinal muscle here we have oblique muscle that to to maintain contraction of the stomach in different direction so we have 
longitudinal and circular and oblique layer. The stomach have many cells, secretory cells, like a mucus cell, which secrete uh, a mucus, and regenerative system cell, that cell produce in new cells, as well as we have a parietal cell, and this parietal cell secrete uh, hydrochloric acid. And also we have what we call the chief cell, and this cell secrete uh, chemosine, lipase, uh, pancreatic lipase, and pepsinogen. And also we have enteroendocrine cell. This is concentrated especially in the lower end of the gland, and it secrete hormone. Now, we want to speak about the large and small intestine. The small intestine is a coiled mass, you see, it is a coiled mass. And it divided into three regions. The first one, this, which attached with the stomach, we call the duodenum, 12, 12 inch. And then it continue with the first, second part of the intestine, we call it the jejunum. And this is the third part, we call it the ileum. There is nothing separate between each regions, no landmark, but the jejunum located in the upper left, while the ileum located in the lower right. And then the small intestine connect with the cecum, the first part of the large intestine, with the ileocecal junction. This is the cecum, and this is the end part of the small intestine, of the ileum, and here we have this epidemix. This is a blind tube, have a, a lymphocyte, concentrate with lymphocyte, this is the appendix. And the small intestine, uh, equal to uh, the ileum, the jejunum at first, uh, two, two, two and uh, five, or half meter, equal to eight feet, while the ileum is three and six point six meter, equal to twelve feet. Now the large intestine the large intestine as I said before to start from the cecum and in the right side of the abdomen and it start with the cecum and then it ascend we call it ascending colon and then it flexure here and now it become transverse colon and then it descend and we call it descending colon and then it make S in shape this part we call it sigmoid or sigmoid colon this is this is the part should look like S we call it the sigmoid colon and then straight and we call it rectum straight is rectum this is the rectum and finally it ended with this is three centimeter we call it the anal canal and uh, it have two sphincter the inner is uh, of smooth muscle that is uh, involuntary and the outer is composed of skeletal muscle and so it is voluntary till here we finished the lecture of today and the second part will be the accessory organ of the digestive system
and thank you.